Hello everyone, Chris here, and today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how you can take an NPC or a character inside of app.roll20.net and actually take their HP and put it on an HP bar that you and other players can see. Okay, so you see right now I have this uh, NPC open, his name's Onu, and he's a druid. His base HP is 40. Now, on the classes tab for the Pathfinder character sheet, what you want to do is only put the base HP for the class that doesn't apply constitution modifiers right here because um, what actually happens is using this max HP formula which is automatically there for your levels it will automatically take your constitution and apply that as bonus HP so level 9 druid 2 constitution modifier 9 times 2 is 18 and you know that 18 got added to my 40 now how it knows to do nine levels is over here right on the right it'll say levels nine um, and if you filled out your character sheet fully uh, on this then yeah uh, it should you know work out just fine for calculating your HP you just have to at, at a minimum have your constitution have your HP there and have your levels uh, but just having that is not enough to actually make it display on um, on the game board so uh, we're gonna go ahead and actually drop this NPC out there on the field I believe I have a token for him. I should. Uh, let me check here. Yes, yes, there's his token. Okay, yeah, he placed on the map correctly. Now, you see, it's not showing his name, it's not showing his HP bar, but you know, you notice these uh, little three circles up here. You might be kind of suspicious about that. Like, does green mean HP? Does blue mean mana? Does red mean bad status effects or something like that? Well, it can actually mean whatever you want it to be. These just hold numbers. And, uh, I mean, they might actually be able to hold more than numbers. Yeah, they can. Uh, they just hold text. Usually you would use numbers with them. And uh, if you want them to actually set, what you have to do is get them assigned to these bar 1, bar 2, and bar 3. Now, uh, the way you want to do this is actually to click on Represents Character, uh, drop down to the character in question, and now a new field is going to open up, or a new drop-down menu. Um, also, you can see that the name got filled in automatically. If you want the name to show, you just have to hit, uh, show nameplate and save changes. Okay, but that only uh, fit, fits in uh, part of it. We also want the HP bar to show, and we'll use the green bar for that. So what we have to do is click here, scroll all the way down for HP, or you can do the lazy thing and just type in HP, and uh, bam, it'll say how much out of your maximum. Uh, but I must have not set the current HP inside of the character sheet, but that's fine. Because if we type it in here, it'll uh, it, since it's representing Onu Aju Brick, it should tie into the character sheet as we uh, add and decrease this. So let me set there, set it there. You see he has a full HP bar, 58 out of 58, which is what we wanted. And uh, before we finish up, let's go back into the character sheet, uh, look for the temporary HP. Uh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, core. Ah, there we go. T current HP, and let's let's knock that down to 40. And bam, right there. Now the token has been updated um, with the updated HP count, and we can change that back up to 58, and it will update in the character sheet. Just to prove that, I'll go ahead and show you 58 out of 58. And the cool thing is, you don't have to only use it with HP. You can also use the blue for possibly spells per day or something like that, or depending on what system you're using, mana points. Um, and uh, yeah, you, really whatever you want. You got three bars there, I'd typically use green for HP. And if you do want to do status effects, you don't have to use those boxes. You can use these symbols to uh, represent them as well. Eh, but you know, all I really wanted to show here today was that you can take any token make it assigned to a character and then have it have its own HP bar based off of the uh, statistics in the character sheet. It's really cool, it's really useful, and it's a great visual representation for your characters inside of your game. So uh, I've been Chris. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you want to see more, let me know in the comments section. Um, if you want to help support the tutorials so I can make more of them, go to patreon.com slash christutorials. And aside from that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.